Josh, six rounder. How do you find it? Yeah, it was good, mate. I think six rounds is probably a bit better for me, like if I'm honest. Um, I get settled in a bit easier as well. I felt like four was very like anxious and just rushing into things, so it was good to to settle into it, like and, and get in a wee rhythm in that first as well. So yeah, no, it was really good. So you're quite composed, kept your your, your composure throughout. Um, before we get into the, the fifth round. Uh, knocked down, uh, what was your, your thoughts going through the, the, the rounds? Uh, I just, I felt comfortable, I felt like I maybe wasn't cutting the ring tight enough, but Craig had said that to me, and I felt like I maybe smelled my luck a wee bit, just because I was a bit over eager, but as the guys say, I'm my own worst critic, like it was, it was a no bad performance, just you always want a wee bit more like as a fighter, so I think it was just really down to that. So, being a, cri- a critic of boxing, I mean obviously you're your coach as well, um, do, you, do you look yeah. at young people in the ring and you have to analyse that sort yeah, of yeah. On, on the spot, uh-huh. um, does that give you an advantage when you're boxing in the ring? Um, I think it just gives you a good boxing IQ, like, it's definitely an important thing and, and uh, it lets you have a, like, a better insight in, into things as well, so yeah, just being around it like, is kind of the best thing for you, as they say, you rest your rust, so if you're around it all the time, every, every aspect, as uh, boys are getting me ready here, uh, every, every aspect of boxing is going to be beneficial to be involved in, I. So, Jimmy Quinn, tough, uh, John Lee Williams, he's boxed up in Glasgow before, um, this was the 50th anniversary, so it was a big show to be yeah. on, um, packed out, um, great home crowd for you, um, in the fifth round, um, what was going through your mind when you got that knocked down? I just got a bit over eager after it, I think, like me and Craig had said, um, we should have maybe calmed it down a wee bit because I got obviously that bit in between my teeth and started chasing it. Like it's hard obviously not to let the momentum run away with you. Um, but it's the shots that you're you're not loading up on. They're the ones that do the damage. So hopefully I can take that experience. Like very good journeyman and he was tying up and, and smothering and, and doing every trick in the book. Um, so hopefully I can take that and stay composed like next time and like find a shot again. So what is the plan? It's come up. Do you know, I think I'm actually out in March again. One of my pals had said to me um, that you're down in box rec, like for being out in March. So the, the, the plan for me, to be honest, was to get a holiday in, but um, according to like the, the, no, no, according to the stable, we're out, we're out in March again uh, against another undefeated boy. I think he's 7-0, so looking forward to that. That's really what I want to be cracking on with anyway, like if I'm honest tonight. I'm really glad I got out tonight on the, on the 50th anniversary, but... Um, I, I, I would, I'd kind of stepped in for like one of the boys that didn't manage to, to, to get on. Um, it was a good opponent for me in my first six rounder, but I'm really wanting to be in with guys that are like really coming to win, and I think that's when you'll see the best of me as well. I'm not trying to chase it all the time, so um, and there's, there's the exchanges that everybody wants to see. Well, Josh, thanks so much for that. Cheers, Cheers thanks very much, mate. Sorted. Hey, right, my man. Um, but at that night, Box Club Home Show is back to basics. So it's, uh, it's like a fight club in there. <laughs> but you're no boxing, we couldn't get you about. Um, but tell us, what, what's your, your history of boxing? How did you get involved in that? How did you end up at Adenine? Uh, well, started off uh, over here with Chris Anderson. I went up to Basco Boxing Academy for a year. And I ended up joining Adenine. Then, about three months in, I went to Novices. Then, this year, I went to the Western Districts in Scottish. Well, the Western Districts of Scottish, um, it was being a good stead, that's probably why you were struggling to get a, a bout in it. Um, what you got to say, you've got to be boxing that night, we've got another home show coming up in Aye. today. Aye. You're going to talk to that? Aye, we're going to ask Scotland to be England so far, so we're just getting a bunch of England boys today, and we're just fighting with English. That's good, because you this um, in Scotland there's only so many people you can box now. Um, um, if you're bringing people up to the south, you can get the best bases, not here, so it's a bit of a challenge. Um, after you have a summer break, after the summer, you'll be in the National Development Championships. That'll be like the novices and the immediate. I'm fine. Uh, you look forward to that? Uh, hey, what about like uh, the other competition coming up, or the World Moral Sports Cup or something? I'll be thinking about getting that, it's in uh, July, I think it'd be good there, you'd be like. So it's a good competition since Stirling. Uh, I'll be speaking to you, like James and that and see if we can get up there. Are you enjoying the home show now? Aye, it's good. Um, Jim looks a lot different in it when you've got a, a big ring in the, the next room. Who are you looking forward to the night? Uh, Leo. Who? Leo. Leo. Aye. And you get Caitlin, it's, um, she's 
shadow box behind this, and she's the main event. That's the main event. That's the main event. Thanks for talking to me, um, and I'll see you before. Uh, we'll probably see you for the night, but I'll, I'll see you at the, the Adelaide show in May. There's my one. Cheers. We get you at the Ant and Nine back to basics home show. Who we got? What's your name? Logan Tabor. Logan Tabor. Reese Grant. Reese Grant. Eric Dubox. Eric er, er, Dubox. So you're just here as a fan. Who are you supporting? Your big cousin. Were you happy with his performance today? Brilliant. Now, Reese, uh, we spoke to you before, um, just a few weeks ago before this was coming up, but uh, this is an opportunity for you to get back in the ring in front of your home crowd. It was an exhibition you were boxing, uh, but how did it go? Uh, it went well. So, at first, it's nervous, but as you get on with it, like it's nervous when you're not in the ring, but when you're in the ring, it's just like no one's around, it's not nervous anymore. And Logan, what about you? Inspiring you. Sorry, That's good, it's alright, it's busy, 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 it's I definitely showed my problems here. And uh, so when are we going to see you box again? Don't know. Don't know yet? Do you have a wee break maybe for the summer? And then uh, back, we've got the novices coming up at the end of the year, have you been uh, that? I think I've got a fight during the summer as well, so I can keep getting better experience. So the box cup's coming up, well, the box cup will be in July, maybe you can get into that as well, it's a good um, well, event. Hopefully. It will be Yuri's. Uh, you might be able to see me on June. June? Boxing. So you, oh, so you're going to, you're going to have another home show before the, 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 the break, um, and we'll probably be streaming that. So we grab you, so maybe you can do some commentary uh, with. I hope that I get a fight on that. So um, what's the plan for the rest of the weekend? Go spend uh, your your gold. It's done. You got your gold medals. You go to cash that in and get some money for it. <laughs> Hang it up my wall. Hang it up your wall. That's good, man. So that's in fact what talking to is. Um, I'll definitely be the the home show. Um, Anthony's got a home show coming up before the end of the year, um, and we'll see you um, before the, the summer break. Thank you, yeah. Uh, well, you're doing that, Jay Stewart. How you doing, my man? I'm doing. I'm on top of the world. I'm buzzing. Uh, absolutely brilliant, bro. Um, we thought it was close, but you stayed in it to the end. That was a mere experience, boxer. So, as I step up for a lot of uh, your mates online, like Robert Downs, Jason McCray, been watching. Um, but what was your thoughts for the fight? Well, oh, he's a mere experience boy than me. I think he's had like double my fights, and I want to push myself. I want to get that bit better. So, like this fight is just going to help me and it was a close fight and I'm just I'm buzzing for it to be honest to get the win and he's a good boy so I, I'm, I'm happy I'm buzzing so the lot of support this is your home show we've seen that that table just behind you in the ring there um, but what does it mean for you to come back and, and have a big home show like this back in Kings Park you, you can't beat the feeling it's, it's the best feeling in the world when you've got everyone here supporting for you it's honestly you can't beat it, you can't pay for that. It's the best feeling in the world. So, what's the plans for the rest of the weekend? Uh, I'm going to see Creed 3 tomorrow with uh, some of the boys for the gym. Um, chill, back to the running probably Monday and back to the gym for my next fight. But my man, I'll speak to you soon. Uh, we're going to go into the main event for the night. Um, but listen, Jay, well done, well deserved one. I go over you want to shout out? I just want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, uh, PSG UK, the best security company in Scotland. And they're on your, they're on your, your boots, uh, they're on your shorts on your boots. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. There we go, PSG. The best well, training company in Scotland. My man, well done. And I'll catch up with you very, very shortly. Yeah, cheers. Well, guys, next up is Macaulay McDowell. How you doing, Macaulay? Good. You have a good Christmas New Year? Aye, it was great. And how long have you been boxing, Anthony? Four months. Four months as well? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Aye. How old are you? Um, 14. 14? So, what year are you at school? Uh, S3. S3. So, you got exams and that coming up? Uh, oh, that's next no, year? No, no, aye, that's next year. So, you're looking forward to juggling both the boxing and the exams and then your, <laughs> your social life and family life? Not really. <laughs> there's a lot of people you can't, I mean, um, Grant was talking about, uh, he gave a shout out to Leo Church, but there's a lot of boxers that aren't that much older than you mm -hmm. that have just came through, like, probably the same sort of things you're about to go through. Mm. Um, that's what's good about Annings, you've got a broad range of boxers there. Um, do you find that in the gym? Do you speak, like, a lot of people say, oh, it's like one big family. Aye, right? it is. But it kind of is, isn't it? It's like Aye. you've got older brothers and younger brothers and sisters there. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but your sister boxes, yeah. is that right? And she will go be speaking to her in a wee minute. Mm -hmm. um, so did you join together? Yeah, I, well, I, I started boxing a wee bit before she did and she wanted to copy me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so you're, you're leading the way. Um, now your home show is coming up in March. Mm -hmm. Is this your first home show? Have uh, you been it? Yeah, it's my first home show for that, isn't So, did you box somewhere else? Yeah, I boxed in Love and Vine, bro. Oh, uh, with Alec Mullen? Yeah. I, I, know, I know Alec well. Um, we'll give a shout out to, to Alec. Um, so, you know, Aunt and Nine, um, you obviously travel through. Um, yeah. But how are you finding it? Is it like there's a lot of boys your age that you can spar with? Or like, yeah. Um, What's the benefits of being at Aunt and Nine? It's just, it's like, I don't know, it's just everything's a lot. So, so it's, it's, you have all these people you can spar with um, and you get a lot of mates in that yeah. as well. It must be special if you travel all the, all the way through. Um, but you're enjoying it. Yeah, I've learnt a lot up at Antony. Um What's your family like with your boxing? Do they get a lot yeah, of support behind very, you? Aye, they're very supportive. I always get lots of people at my fights, a lot, lots of my family. Um, and is there anybody in particular you think um, is really behind you and like, who brought uh, you through the day? My dad. Your and my dad. Big brother. Your big brother. Is he a boxer? Yeah, uh, he was. Yeah. He used to box as well. Yeah. So, did your dad ever box? Uh, he boxed a little bit over in Spain. D does he help you with the pads here? Uh, aye. Yeah, we did some sparring. I was going to see <laughs> you and your sister. He's big brother that does the pads. Oh, How old's your big brother? Uh, he's 20. 20. So, it's quite a, an age gap between you two. But you uh, and your sister, how many years gap? Uh, two. Two. So your sister take you on sparring? Yeah. Who wins? Me. <laughs> You're always going to say that. catch me. <laughs> so in the next year, um, you have got to have the, the novices coming up. You, you, have you boxed in the novices? Uh, yeah, I got to the finals. Oh, wow. Yeah. How, how was that? Yep. Just that, that November there? Yeah. Yeah, I that's got, brilliant, man. Uh, I got silver medal because... Uh, I, I won the semi-finals and, and then you through the on, finals uh, So how are you finding it? Yeah, really good It's quite um, nerve-wracking like, I, I did comment I'm going to the fact this weekend We've got the intermediates But um, like I missed that novice um, championships uh, um, Because I just had my awards So it was kind of like a bad time for me But this year I'll definitely be there um, But you, is that what you're planning? you got to get a few bouts in between now And the novices and then compete again yeah. And come back for the gold this time. Well, I don't think I'll. Uh, I think I'll have too much fight. You might uh, next then. year, but I'm hoping to make. Uh, the intermediates then. The intermediates next year. Oh, that's good, man. So it gives you like a whole year ahead to to plan, get a few home shows under your your belt. Yeah. Um, and that thing's always travelling as well. So it's good about the coaches as they'll, they'll take you in places. Um, I will see and Danny and, and John and James and Leo Church is like every he's yeah. like he's like every yeah. boxing event he just pops up. Yeah, um, we've been a lot we've been to a lot of sparring in that. That's brilliant man. Um so last question what's your favourite subject at school? Tech. What'd you do though? Like just build stuff out of wood and that. So is that gonna be like in, in future where do you see yourself like um I see myself as a boxer, but if not a boxer, I'd like, I don't know, I'd maybe like to do something to do with that. Like oh, that's good, man. It's good to have, like, obviously something to fall back on. Like, I, I know a lot of mates that they, they'll put everything into boxing um, and they don't always think about oh, what happens if... Because, like, you need, you need to always have something even after boxing. A lot yeah. of boxers come back into coaching, which is, which is good. Or maybe one day you can jump, push me off commentary and start doing comment. <laughs> commentating at the shows. Um Les McCoy, thank you so much for, right. for travelling all this way. Um but no doubt I'll see I'm gonna try and get to Antonine before um your home show in March. Um right. but I can't wait to the home show. It's gonna be brilliant and nice right. sparring with your, your sister between now and then. Right, right my man, thank you. Right, thank you. Okay, so next up we've got McCauley's sister, Marley. How you doing Marley? Good. Um so you've been boxing just slightly shorter than your brother. Yeah. Is that right? Um, what's the best thing about boxing? Like if I put you on the spot, I'll go. Like Miss Elliot. You got a good buzz. Uh -huh. um, now I'm going to tell you a story. My big cousin was in the first ever female boxing fight in Scotland years ago, um, which was in about 1994. But 
female boxer in particular came leaps and bounds. Um, what was it like the first time you went into a boxing gym? Well, I just, I just went in and I hit the bag and then, because I was really small, I had to like spar like boys that were younger than me and like girls that were like really, really young. Was it a bit daunting going into the gym or did you find that your comfort zone quite quickly? It didn't, it didn't take me that long. Only like less than a month it took me. Was it, does it help having your big brother though? Yeah. Do you, st- you asked him, you spar, do you spar together? He said he wins, is that true or what? That's because he's heavy. Like <laughs> but you're working your way up? Yeah. Um, who's your favourite coach? I don't know. You don't know yet? Um, what about your favourite boxer? You any favourite boxers? Um, in the gym? I'm like, I'm going to just all the same, I don't know. Do you have any, um, do you watch any of the professional boxing? Um, I watch like Katie Taylor and Christy Martin. Uh, Katie Taylor's name always pops up. <laughs> you like Katie Taylor? Because yeah. um, professional boxing and amateur boxing is a lot different. Um, obviously the, the rounds are, are short, you get more energy at your age, um, you don't have a lot of time to go in yeah. and pick up the points. Um, so I speak to some of the other boxers about what they've got coming up in the year. So we've got your, your March home show, um, you looking forward to that? Yeah. Um, and then, have you had any boxing bouts yet or would that be your first? I've had like, I've had um, a couple of exhibitions but because I'm really light I don't get fights much. And the fight coming up is not even, it's an exhibition as well. Yeah, so you, it's, I know it can be difficult when you're, you're growing in that because your age um, to find opponents. Um, but it's good even to do the exhibition. I mean, it gets you a chance to get out, get yeah. used to being in the ring in front of your, your crowd. You're going to get a lot of support for your family. Yeah, I just like to treat it like a real fight. And yeah. It just feels like one. Um, still going in. And then we've got the, did you box in the novices? No. No, so you be looking forward to novices this year? I don't think I'll be in them. You don't know yet. Don't so maybe the year after. How old are you? I'm twelve. You're twelve. So I'm you've got you've got a lot of time to play about. To be honest, build up your your experience, and then, yeah. as I said, there's, it's it's difficult sometimes to get female boxers to to box with. But um, I can already tell you've got a lot of confidence. You're sitting here um, chatting away. You know, even my sister when she was your age, she used to, um, but she was dancing. She was she was in there, and I had to go sit. I had to walk her up. Um, to a dancing practice, and I had to walk her back um, and just pretend I was a boxer in case anybody tried to try to mess with us. But I've never boxed that song, so you, you got my respect for for going in the ring. Um, who are we shouting out to? Who's your who um, you want to shout out to? Your dad, obviously, because he brought you. And um, probably just my friends, my dad, Astrid, Zoe, and Macy. Um, well, any teachers? You got t- do your teachers know you box? What do they think it? They don't get you take the show and tell and take boxing gloves and that in the ring. They will soon when you've got the belts and the medals start rolling in. They'll be like, bring it in and show everybody and they'll be showing you off the, the, the newspapers. Um, but listen, Marley, thanks so much for coming to speak to me. As I said to the boxer, no doubt I'll, I'll see you before that. I'm not at Einstein Ballocks, I'm actually that far for the Dalmere gym. Um, and the guys at Anthony have always supported me. The reason we started live streaming was because uh, they gave us a chance to test in the gym. So um, I'll see you before March, definitely. Yeah. Um, but looking forward to that that exhibition. Um, and then we'll get another interview with you then. Right. All right. Thank you. Right, bye. How you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Actually, I'm actually having a good time. Um, a lot of good 50-50 bouts. Um, you were boxing Reese Aziz for Gar Shield. How'd it go? It went very good. A lot of respect to the boy, he was very good. Um, what was going through your mind in the ring? Pardon? What was going through your mind between the rounds? In my last Scottish fight, I was a bit messy, so I was like, I need to change up, I need to box him, you get me? So I was trying to use my check hooks and keep him with the distance. Um, was a lot of pressure boxing your home show? No, I felt a little nervous though, a little nervous. That's good though, no? Yeah, keep, nerves keep you safe though. And your family's literally right there. Yeah. So, I mean, did you, were you aware of them behind you? Oh, they're behind you, so maybe you didn't see them. My dad sponsors the club and he came home and he's like, yes, we got, we got tables behind the blue corner. You'll hear me shouting for you. I, I heard them. I always hear your dad. Your mum's a bit calmer though, isn't it? I know, 
my mom, my mom shouts and then she goes quiet because my mom gets really nervous as well, you know. Um, it's no easy watching your your boy box, but your mom there did it twice because your brother was boxing as well. Yeah. How was he? It was good. It was a close fight, but the, I would I would agree the other boy won. Uh, first, I, I think first time. You don't agree? No, I do agree. Oh, you do agree? Yeah, I do agree that Tate won. I need to use a commentator because sometimes I I, I, I'm, I try being neutral, but sometimes I'm, I can't cross a bit biased. But you um, you just say it how it is. Yeah. Tate. So Tate, talk, talk us through that about. Yeah. Tate's very good though. Yeah, Tate did did win. My brother, I thought my brother won the first round. Second round is. A close, and then I think Tate took the third round. So yeah. I, think, I think that it was the right decision today. But my brother will come back stronger like he always does. Two right, two right. He's a big boy. Um, he's grown all the time, as is you all. Every time you see, every time I come back, like everybody's taking another stretch. Um, so what's the plans now for this tonight? Probably going to go out to eat after this home show. Going to after it too well? To go like a world buffet or something, to go to eat. Oh, are you going tonight or are you going to wait till tomorrow? Um, it's getting late, man. It's like... It's I'm going tomorrow. But you, you're starving? Dad, yeah, starving. But my dad, knowing my dad, he'll probably take us tonight. <laughs> Too right. Show us your medal before you go. I know, man. Nice, and another one to add to the click. I know. Hey, when am I going to see you next? What do you mean? When am I going to see boxing next? Um, I'm going down to England for a box hall cup. Will you be there? Which one? Box hall cup. No, no, no. Um, I'll be in the William Wallace. Oh, I think I'm, we're talking about that, so I'll probably be there. Yeah, I'll be fighting at 37 kgs on that. The tail of it, do you know, do you know who, anybody you're eyeing up to box? The boy I bet in the squash. Do I box him again? Yeah. He probably wants to box you again as well, innit? Yeah. I think, no. I think that people eye me down. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, I think people see that I'm undefeated, like, I'm undefeated and people are like, I want to defeat this boy. There's a lot, of, there's a lot more pressure on you then. Yeah, because I'm a Scottish champion. So, yeah, so, like... Just bring it on. Innit? I know, man. I don't care who comes to fight me, man. I'm... I, I don't care, bring it on man. Just too right, too right. You waited the whole evening for an interview. Thank you for speaking to me first. Um, I'm going to try and squeeze in a few other people before uh, part two, but listen, Dan. Thanks again. Tell your family I say hello, I'll come see them uh, before the end of the night. Cheers, bro. Cheers. All right, Jay Sheridan, how you doing? Good. Um, how did your boat go? Good, I could have done better, but... You could have done better. You're boxing a nice free box off his part of Harvey Green. It was good, I. So, uh, what was going through your mind during the rounds? Fuck. Just lay in here. Yo, you've got a lot of energy in it. I know. I think there's something up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you remember the first time I had of you? Aye. It was, was there, there. Somebody kicked my camera. Aye. I remember that. So, um, what's the what's the deal? How many how many bouts have you you won? How many box how many times you boxed? Well, I've had four fights and I've won three, but I should have won four. Um, what about your titles? Um, I've got I've got two trophies for the home. No, three trophies for the home show. I've got a silver um, boxing Scotland medal. I've got a gold Western district. And what's your plans for the? You got to be boxing between now and the summer, or are you got to get a wee break or what? Uh, well, I'll go to Anton summer camp and then I'll do stuff like that. Get. Do you run the summer camp? Uh, no. I I your summer camp? Aye. Yours? Do you run it? I heard you run that camp. Aye, I run it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who's here supporting you tonight? Uh, everybody. Everybody? Even the away boxers? No, but uh, my uncles and aunties, my gran and granda and my mum and dad. How did they feel seeing you box again? Happy, really happy. You're buzzing? Aye. It's a lot of emotion and energy that goes into your bouts, isn't it? I know. You ever get a time just to chill it? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing after this? You go clubbing or something? Uh, no, I'll do you ever sleep or do you, do you, what time would you go to sleep? You just go to go home and then what? Bar somebody else in the street? <laughs> I, I usually go to sleep about 11, but when I'm fighting, I go to sleep about 10. So, so um, it's 10 o'clock, you know? Is it? It's 10 o'clock. We're not even in the second half yet. 
So you need to go home, have a, a good sleep, and then when you're back in the gym. Maybe about two in the morning. You go to sleep two in the morning, it's a big night for you. Right. You deserved it, man. You deserved it to celebrate. I want to watch Aiden fight. Again? I want to watch Aiden fight. Mm. So he's on uh, another five male bouts. Um, look, Michael, look at Michael Maudlin there. Though. Michael's Maudlin in the ring. Is that Michael? That's not even Michael, is it? I can't have to look at my glasses. Liam. Um, so, what's the, what's the plan now? What's the plan after summer? Well, I would like to get fit on and I'd like to get an NC next year. Uh, no, actually, I'd like to win the whole Box Cup and then I'd like to win the William Wallace. And then, see, next year, I would like to win the Scottish, right? And then I could go into the British. Yeah, bright man. Sounds good. Now Zane's waiting. I'm going to jump get him on because he'll, he'll try and run away. <laughs> uh, but listen, Jay, thanks for talking to me again. Enjoy the rest of the night. Try and get a sleep. Don't eat too much of that chocolate. See you later, bro. All right, guys, joining me now, Zane, the pain, Iqbal. Um, I won't even remember your credentials, we're going to try. British champion, three times Scottish champion, three time. Um, Boy Morris Sports Cup champion, MTK champion, novice champion, many times. Oh, oh you never fought it. What was the other one there? There was another championship there. Wexford, Ah, the Wexford one. And, and the media. And the Westerns, that was it. Um, the music's playing behind us. If you can't hear me, just coming a bit closer. But Zane, um, a few years ago I interviewed you. Yeah, you're a bit smart. I remember you stood in the seat. But you're, you're suiting up now. You've, you've got a fantastic set in the ring. I love watching you. Your record speaks for itself. But what did you think of being Noah? What? I can't hear you. What did you think of being Noah in the ring tonight? I thought it was a good fight. It was a good fight. But I, I boxed the way I wanted to and I got the win. You're quite an awkward boxer to box against. Because you're bouncing in and out, right? Is that just a style you've developed over the years? No, I've, I change for every fight. We look and we analyse and then we change. But I, that's how I like to box. So um, I know you've always got a lot of support here, but uh, who was it that joined us at the, the end of getting a bit emotional? Uh, my gran and my auntie. Um, it's not always easy watching your nephews and people in your family box. Um, but you've seen, they, they've seen you obviously box a few times, but they always they always feel emotional. What, what was it like for you though, to come back to your home show uh, and box in front of all your fans as well as your family? Um, it's good. I like boxing on the home show. It's a good home show. Havoc and Hampton. Right. So you get a lot of adrenaline in it, because the atmosphere in the years metal. Um, does that push you to do metal? Does it mess up your mentality or what? How's it work? Uh, it pushes me to do more, because all my family's here, so I have to box my best. So where are we going to see you next? When are you boxing next? Um, hopefully the British. Aye. Two times British champion then. Aye, so that's going to be... Is that up here? No, I think I'll probably be in Wales. Because they're rotating it. I know we are filming one of them, but I don't know if it's you from Elites. Um, but I don't know, so maybe you'll be travelling down south. But listen, Zane, as always, it's brilliant to watch you. Uh, before I go, who are you looking forward to? What, pick one bout. Um, in the second half, what's your favourite? Who are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to watching my cousin Cash Mohammed and Ava Allison. I said pick one, well, you picked two, but I'll let you get away with it before you bother me. But this is in. Thank you, enjoy the rest of your night. Tell your, your dad that I say hello, yeah? Cheers, bro. Alright, my man, what's your name? Michael Campbell. <laughs> now I already know you, and you know members of my family. Now my cousin Leslie, Paul, Jack, and who else? Uh, Robbie. Um, do you just go to school with you Eh, uh, yeah. What's he like? Annoying. Is he a troublemaker? Not really. Every time I see him, he's always like bouncing about mad. Uh, Jack's calmed down a bit. I've seen Jack uh, up the tune a few times. I have to warn him just to send him. Um, you're not boxing, are you? You have to pull out because you want to will. Uh, I was sick from Monday to Friday and I woke up this morning and I had no energy, so I couldn't fight. It's best just to take a break in and maybe, but you enjoying the home show, you were helping them there with the raffle. Aye, uh, I'm loving it. Everyone's in class. Who's uh, been your favourite bout so far? I really like Callum's, Calm Hands. That was a good fight. He's your mate, innit? Aye, uh, he's my pal for school and I've like, hang, hang a book with him in that. So, um, who you got to, we, we've got a few more coming up. That, Five more bouts, what's your favourite out of that list? Eh, uh, probably Eden Roger. That'll be some fight. 
Roger. Aidan Rogers. Oh, Aidan Roger. I seen him in the back here. He's looking calm in it. Aye. That top of the bill will be dead good. It'll be class. Very good boxer. So, um, you're a bit of a character in the gym, innit? Aye. So is we Jay Sherry. Aye. <laughs> well, I, what's it like having you two in the same room at the same time? Metal. I can imagine. This room's quite a big room, but I already feel the, the, the sort of atmosphere we used to bouncing about. Um, you enjoy supporting all your teammates? I'm loving it. It's class. So, how many times you box now? 17 fights. Huh? 17 fights. 17? You kidding me on? <laughs> and what's, what's your record like? So, 14 and 3, but I'm two time national, two time district, one time MTK, no, one time Wexford Box Cup in Ireland, and one time MTK finals in England. How do you even remember all that? I don't know. <laughs> Um, did you have an opponent for this? For this? Um, I had William McKay, but he pulled out and I got a new boy. But uh, the day after, uh, that's when I started to get sick. I especially did take a break. When we go to see you box next? Um, Hull Box Cup in England. You got to do the William Wallace one as well? Aye. I'm, I'm in talks with it, we film that, so I might, maybe they're filming it. They'll get an interview there as well. Aye. If you're up for it. Aye. Um, Listen, the officials are coming back. There's one or two uh, people I'm going to interview. But listen, Michael, get well, you know, feel recovered, and I'll see you shortly, yeah? Take care, my man. Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. How you doing? Um, very good. How are you? you must be buzzing. I'm buzzing. That's my first stoppage. Um, your first stop? Yeah. Um, good respect to, to your opponent, uh, Saran Lee, for stepping up. Um, but with St. Antonio, it's not always easy for female boxers, especially a record like yours, to get bouts. Um, has it been difficult trying to find somebody box? I've had to go up and down weight a lot. Um, so Western Districts, I had to go out to 58 and a half. And then for this fight, I had to go up to 63. So you're still growing as well, so it's difficult to keep your weight at a certain weight when you're, you're growing as well. Um, but what's it been like boxing at your home show? I love it, it's like the best atmosphere ever when you're walking out and everybody's just fist bumping you, it's so good. And your table's literally right next to the ring, did you hear them? I, oh, that's all I heard, I heard them rather than Anton. So, we did speak about record a second ago, you, uh, remind us again uh, your your titles. Uh, you remember them all? <laughs> I'm 6-0, I won Novices and then I won the Westerns and then I won the Scottish. That's and where are we going to see you next now? Uh, I'm boxing in the hall. You're going to Boston Hall, you're going to do the Wally Wallace Boss Cup? Oh yeah, I'm doing the Wallace and then I've got Hull, I've got the Wallace and then whatever else comes up. Brilliant. Um, listen, Lexi, they're just about to start... Oh, he's getting them out of trouble. <laughs> uh, they're just about to start the second half. I'll let you go enjoy it with, with your mates. Uh, thanks so much for coming out and speak to me. And I'll, I'll see you very, very soon. Any shout-outs before we go? No. <laughs> no? Take hell with them all. That's the legacy. Thank you, yeah. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thanks for talking to me, yeah. Uh, before we go into this bout, come on, come on, come on, come on. You need to talk right into this. Um, here, shout out. What's your name? Charlie Boy Robshaw. And you were boxing Finn Hunter earlier? Uh, Leeds. Platinum. You were boxing Finn earlier? You were yeah. boxing earlier? Yeah, Did you win? Yeah, I won. You got Unanimous. to go back to Leeds happy? Unanimous decision, yeah. So, um, we're going to start this bout. Um, Enjoy your trip back down. Thanks. Thank you for speaking to us. Is there anyone you want to give a shout out to? Shout out to the Platinum Crew, number one. Too right, too right, my man. Listen, thank you. Yeah, enjoy your, your trip back down. Platinum boys and top. Too right, take care, yeah. There we go. So, guys, you're watching the Southside Box Academy Home Show here on JTV Live. Um, joining me, Lewis Rossi, who boxed, um, wasn't that long? It was before the break. Nine, nine. Uh, about number nine. nine. How'd it go? I went well, I didn't really get into the flow of stuff, I won it, but I think I could have boxed better. Uh, but it's all improvement, you know, I think I landed better punches and more cleaner punches than the boy, and the boy wasn't uh, fully, he was slapping a lot and the referee was saying Yeah, so I've seen that. But I think, I think I won it, I won it, but it was a close decision, but I, I know I could have boxed better, and if I think I, in the training I'm going to just apply getting more flow and getting more punches in there, and then I, I think I could have won it easily. So how's your, your boxing, because you took some time out, no? Uh, no, I took some time out because I had a neck injury. Oh. I, had, I got a neck infection and then oh. I came back. So you bounced back now? Yeah, I bounced back now. Back to winning ways. Um, here we go with round number two. 
Uh, this is bout number 13, Kashi Mohammed in the blue corner and Jack O'Brien from All King Geek in the red. So this is three two minute rounds. Um, as was yours. Aye, my one was three two. Don't really notice the difference in one and a half spaces. I don't think it is. What was going through your mind when it was coming to the. I don't know, I just, I just thought session. I should have done. Could have boxed better, I think. Just all the hard work I put in, I feel like it just. I didn't, I, I didn't show it. It can be difficult when you're in there, Aye, especially if you don't know your opponent. Right. Have you boxed this sport before? Boxed, I boxed before, but I bo last time I wasn't that good. I, I, I wasn't really on good boxing level. And I've started to see improvements because I've been training most days and stuff, putting in hard work. You're still growing as well. Aye, I see you. Like, see that every time I come, it's like everybody's taking a stretch, Aye. man. It's mental. It could be getting smaller. Uh, I, yeah. I think I'm all getting smaller. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, so we go third and final round uh, for bout number 13. Listen, uh, Lewis, I'm going to go take the videos. Okay. Thanks so much Cheers. for talking to me. I'll catch Cheers. up with you shortly. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Pass back uh, Brian Allison in the ring with the official announcement. Uh, so, Grant, before we go, you've got some shout-outs. Uh, hi, David and uh, Gary, uh, Faith and Jordan. These mates at school? Uh, no, Jordan's my bro. Oh, your uh, bro. The other three are my mates then. Uh, a shout out to Kenny too. What about your grand that brought you all the way here? Uh, shout out to your grand. Uh, Amber. Should we get her in? Yeah. Uh, Where's your grand? Come on in. Just go all the way right round. Just come in and say hello. Let's swap to this girl. You just squeeze in. Just catch it. There you go. There's your grand. What's your name? My name's Amber. Amber. Oh, that's a brilliant name as well. Everybody's got these like pure unique names. I've got Jamie. Um, but listen, thanks for Amber for bringing him. Um, no doubt I'll see you at the home show. I'm maybe trying to get you to jump in commentary. For if, I don't even know if we're filming it. I think we might. I don't know if we'll be doing it live because it's a quite a different. This is like back to basics home show. So it's like going to be just like a, a really back to the basics uh, for boxing. But listen, Grant, thank you again uh, for coming and I'll, I'll see you very, very soon. All right, my man.